You know what? Yesterday I saw a really ugly fly that wouldn't stop bothering me. Olga, every fly is ugly and they also smell bad. How disgusting! A big fly with hair all over the place? I don't know what they're good for. All they do is bother you. Well, just like you, Rita. You're like a fly. You do nothing but bother us all the time. Me? That's not true at all. You are a stinky fly. And you're like a green booger. That's so gross! A green <laughs> and stinky <laughs> booger? <laughs> Quit biting, you two. You're like two flies that do nothing but fly around and fight. But she's the one who started it. No, you're the one who started it. Hi there. Why are those two fighting? Ah! A spider! Somebody help me! Ah! Where's the spider? Spiders gross me out. Go away, bug. <laughs> I just wanted to say... Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, but just go somewhere else. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Go far away, dear. Real far away. Make sure we can't see you. Did you see how hairy and ugly she was? I don't know if she was ugly or not, but I'm really scared of spiders. She was really ugly, and we don't want her around us. Hi, what were those screams that I heard? There was a spider right there, and it scared us half to death. It scared you? <laughs> Spiders are harmless. They only attack when they feel threatened, just like bees do. Whatever you say, but it was a red, ugly spider. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Red and ugly? I hope you don't mean little spider. Who is little spider? Little spider is my friend. She's a really nice and funny spider. I hope you weren't mean to her. She's a very good friend of mine. Uh, yeah, but we didn't know she was your friend. But it's a... a hairy spider. I can't believe it. You cannot judge anyone before you get to know them. I'm going to look for her, and when I find her, you should apologize. Oh, dear. We really were mean to little Spider. Yeah. If I had known she was Milo's friend, I wouldn't have been so mean to her. It still makes my skin crawl, but I'm going to try to talk to her. Little Spider! Little Spider! Where are you? Don't pay attention to what my friend said to you. You're my friend, and I want you to come with me. My friend said they want to apologize to you. Little spider, don't hide. Let me explain. I never want to see your friends again. They were all really mean to me. Little spider, I'm so sorry, but my friends are really nice. It's just that they're afraid of, of things they don't understand. But I told them you're my friend, and from now on, they're going to be nice to you. Are you sure they won't get scared when they see me? I assure you. Come on, climb on my arm and let me introduce you. Here we are. <clears throat> Little spider, I'm very sorry for what we said to you before. I just got scared. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. I know that you're good friends of Milo's and he told me that you're nice to all the other animals. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the mean things I said to you. I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, I feel the same as Wimmo. End of story. I forgive all of you. You see, little spider? Now you have some new friends. Well, now that we're friends, I'm going to tell you a joke. A joke? A spider telling a joke? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Rita! What is red and dangerous? Strawberry jam with the tarantula. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> that was.
was a good one, little spider. Can you tell us another one? What do you get if you mix a rose with a tarantula? I don't know, but you better not try to smell it. <laughs> Now it's my turn to tell a joke. <laughs> but you're no good at telling jokes, Moo Moo. What do you mean I'm no good? I am great at telling jokes. I'm sorry, Moo Moo. The truth is that we never understand your jokes because you start laughing before you finish telling them, and then you never finish them. This one you'll understand for sure. It's really good. Why did the chicken cross the road? Mm, I don't know, Moo Moo. To get to the other side. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> Did you get it, huh? Come on, don't go. I want to tell another one. Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. Ooh, wow. Hello, little bee. How are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Moo Moo, I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Moo Moo's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little bee, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little Bee, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Moo Moo, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four, perfect! You and Alfred, um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one, then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, 
Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee is coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help me. It really hurts. Strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll see there's nothing there. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... don't exist. There must be a logical explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters. And all of a sudden, we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. 
They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with them? No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all. Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye. Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Mumu, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh, don't do no. it. If you mess with the lion, don't he's going to no. take revenge on no. us. No. It's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! A vicious lion is going to 